There are uh, several new topics covered by the new guide line. I cannot list uh, all. The most important from my perspective is uh, uh, how to manage a patient in an emergency department. The guideline gives precise instruction how to stratify the risk. This means to select those patients at low risk that can, be, that can be discharged safely from those at high risk that need uh, uh, investigation, immediate investigation. But the guideline recognizes that hospitalization is not the most appropriate uh, 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 things for, for the majority of single patients. Hospitalization must be reserved to only a minority. How to avoid this? Because we describe a new organizational pathway, which include an intensive observation emergency department strictly related to the syncope unit. And we give instruction how to set up a syncope unit in an hospital, the staff, the equipment and so on. But we provide also very practical algorithm on therapy, therapy pharmacological and pacing therapy of reflex syncope. And, uh, we, uh, uh, we underline the importance to appropriate selection of ICD in patients affected uh, by syncope at risk of sudden death and give as alternative to ICD the possibility to utilize implantable loop recorder in cases in which ICD is utility is uncertain. And, uh, and finally, as regards the diagnostic tool, we uh, give uh, um, stress the importance of some, some diagnostic tools, especially uh, loop recorder, implantable loop recorder, in patients affected by syncope that remain unexplained despite uh, conventional workup, and uh, a new feature which is increasing in the future, the video recording. The video recording of a syncope episode either at home or in laboratory. Thank <laughs> you.